Hello friends. Here we are with Dr. A.K. Saluja, who is authority in thermal imaging part, and he he has been the part of the various interview boards of the PSUs as well as UPSC. We have got the chance to take advice about the upcoming interviews of the PSUs and other companies. Here I am going to ask few general questions about the interview preparation from Dr. Saluja. and i hope that these answers will definitely benefit you sir my first question is what are the essential preparation that one candidate has to prepare for the interview interview the question which i asked depends upon your luck the mood of the members of the interview board any question any chapter it may be asked so in general the student should prepare all subjects all topics to best of his knowledge best of his practice and from time to time he should have two or three friends with him and he should speak about any one topic the other two will listen and if possible the audio video program should be there so that subsequently the candidate can see how he responded and his friends who are attending and sitting along with him will tell his points of weaknesses so in general there is no specific topic for which the candidate should prepare it is overall general knowledge general attitude technical skill these are the things which matter a lot yeah here i want to add for these all kind of preparation we are going to start mock interviews at the gate coach at the new delhi uh, center so you can join the same so uh, my next question is in the psus the important questions uh, they usually ask what are the important question they usually ask and what is the expectation of the board what they want to know about the candidate uh, the interview board is interested to know the basic fundamental concepts about the student his approach his attitude two three members of the board they are interested to see the attitude and one man who is just keeping quiet all the times and is seeing the posture of the candidate when a question candidate listens how he reacts how what is his body language how his hands move whether he is shivering or just keeping quiet and then many times it so happens that the student is picking up the pen he is drawing a vertical line but the line is going on this side or on this side this is just out of hesitations probably the candidate has not attended the interviews well or he has not prepared for the interviews in general there is no specific preparation but the candidate when he knows well in advance 3 4 days or a week which company he has to go the company which he has to go he must have thorough background about the company what are the products in which the company is dealing when the company was formed if shares are there what is the position of the shares in the market this background will make the student understand about the company and will have little confidence so when the questions are asked if you are not clear with the question straight away say sorry if you are clear then very slowly one should try to answer even if you know the answer but still you shouldn't be in a hurry you should post to the interview board that you are thinking 
and then trying to answer. So that they should feel that the student is good. Whenever any situation comes, he'll be able to handle diplomatically with mind and he will not be in a hurry. Whenever you are in a hurry, the next sentence is you are likely to commit a mistake. And hence one should never be in a hurry. And try to answer accordingly. If supposedly the interview is for the EIL, Engineers India Limited. One should know that these are the people who are specialized in pipe designs. So one should have some knowledge about it. If you are going for, uh, say, a company like Marathi, one should know what are the ranges of the various cars which the company is manufacturing. Further, each range, what are the specifications of the engine? Petrol engine, diesel engine, two-stroke, four-stroke, used for atom-wide purposes or used as a stationary engine. And then simultaneously, we can make use of the engines for the generators. Whether Martha engines are capable of handling the generators or it is only the Kirtlaskar company which is famous for the generators. Thus, one should have uh, as a whole the background about the stream which he is appearing for. Supposingly a student is appearing for mechanical engineering. It does not mean that he should be clear about design subjects, production subjects or thermal subjects. Computer these days is a device which is used for any purpose, any programs. So an engineer must know about the software part, about the hardware part. So from a mechanical engineer, sometimes nothing is asked except for the computers. Because the interview board feels that he is well versed with mechanical. Let us see how he is in electrical knowledge, computer knowledge or electronics knowledge. And hence one should be overall with a sound personality, with complete technical background, what an engineer is expected. Nice. Sir, here I want to add uh, one more thing. Uh, they should concentrate on their final year project also. There may be question from their final year project. Are they having any previous experience of any company? Then do, you should prepare well. And please remember, you should not never criticize your previous company or the previous employment. Sir, what are the common mistakes that students make? You are the part of various uh, PSU boards. So I just want to know uh, for the for the students' benefit, what are the common mistakes they made during the interview? Uh, the training part is a very, very important part. Second important part is the project, which a student undergoes during final year. Normally, 60% of the students give the fake certificates for the training. And when the details about the training is asked, they are big zeros. Even if because of one reason or the other, the student had not gone for training properly, but at least before the interview, he should see what he had written in his training diary. So that little knowledge, because that indicates whether you are serious about the job which you are required to handle or you are just taking it casually saying that it is a formality which was to be completed. Same way project plays an important role. The study of eight semesters is on one side and doing a project is equally important on the other side. And these days in the market ready-made projects are available some students, those who can afford, are going for that because they are not interested to acquire knowledge. They are interested just to have a degree and join their own business, saying that you are a mechanical engineer, electronics engineer, so on and so forth. But they don't understand that this is the only term which you have done of your own. Assignments you may copy here and there and submit. But project is very, very important where your own contribution will be there. 
and hence you should be clear about it. Normally the students are committing mistake and thing which they do not know they try to force as if they know it. And then they get acquired in, in the chapter view from where it is very very difficult to come out. Hence I always recommend that if you are clear about the term only then answer otherwise straight away say sorry. Even if in the entire interview three times you have said sorry out of ten questions but seven questions you are asking and replying to the best of your knowledge, best of your skill and they are up to the mark, you are likely to be selected. Exactly. It is not that three questions which you couldn't answer, you are becoming zero. No. Seven things you know and whatever you know that is perfect, that is what the board is expecting from you. Thank you sir. Uh, we will continue these uh, interview sessions further on. Uh, thanks for your giving your time. Thank you sir.